Hi everyone, I'm George. This is my Aquascaper 600 at home. It's been running for about a month and this video is all about an update. So if you're new to my channel and you're interested in aquascaping private aquariums and inspirational aquariums, then hit that subscribe button, press the notification bell, and you automatically get notified every time you upload a new video. So since the last video, which I'll put a link above right now, growth's been really good. I've added some hydrocotyl tripartia there, uh, but generally just the, the plant growth has been excellent. Uh, the stem plants in the back in particular grow really well and showing really good color. Just to update you, I've got uh, Ludwigia Palustris Super Red on the left. I've got some new Rotala H Ra from Tropica, the one two grow version in the center, which you can't quite see yet. It's growing super compact, but really nice color. And on the right there, I've got Rotala Rotundifolia Orange Juice. Maintenance wise, just doing two 50% water changes once a week using my regular hard tap water. I don't test my water. I just rely on those water changes and dosing every day with a comprehensive liquid fertilizer. Some of you may have seen this already. This is the Aquascaper Complete Liquid Plant Food, which I add every day. I add just under a cup full. A cup is 10 millilitres. I'll do that right now, actually, to show you how I do it. So literally just pour in the cap and then pop it straight in. Give the cap a rinse so the salts don't dry out and leave a residue. Replace the cap. Jobs are good and that's dose for the day. And then I also feed the fish two or three times a day. Um, this is Danale Neon & Co Booster, which is a dry food, but really good quality. Uh, it's just a small pinch of that. I've only got two white cloud mountain minnows in here right now. Quite a few shrimp in there as well, so any of that left leftover food will get eaten by the shrimp. There's only two white clouds in there, like I say, so I'll probably add another another 10 or so to keep them company and nice shoal of white cloud mountain minnows. I do love those fish. So other maintenance tasks are just cleaning the diffuser every week as well to ensure a really nice micro bubble production, nice and efficient. And pruning any plants, the stem plants. I've only pruned the Ludwigia Palustris so far because it is so, so rampant. And that's it guys, just really enjoying it. It's on an eight hour photo period, which is set on the plug-in timer. Uh, the Twin Star, I'll show you that right now. Uh, this is basically producing uh, oxygen micro bubbles which help to increase the oxygen levels in the aquarium. It is marketed as an anti-algae device but I'm not sure about that. I do know it does increase the oxygen levels though so that's a good thing for the whole, whole aquarium system. Not an absolutely essential item but something I believe provides benefits to the aquarium system. Okay, so I'll just do a quick rundown of the whole system in case you've not watched any videos about this tank yet. So starting from the top, we've got the Twin Star 600S LED, really good unit. That has an inline dimmer, so I can adjust the settings from 0% all the way to 100% with uh, 16 different increments in between the 0 and 100. Uh, the tank itself, Aquascaper 600 by Evolution Aqua, designed in collaboration with me and it measures 60 centimetres by 50 front to back by 36 centimetres tall. Cabinet is a super matte anthracite cabinet, beautiful, hand built in the UK. They come pre-built as well if you buy them in, in the UK, they'll get delivered to you already built. Going back to the aquarium, the glass is super low iron glass, so really transparent, minimum silicon, cerium polished, really just, just a really premium glass product, beautiful. The aquascape itself, we've got Microsorum Petite, which is a, a smaller version of the standard Java fern. We've got a mixture of Marcellaire Cronata, Loads of different Cryptocorini species. Hygrophila lancia, we've got different, different species of Bucophalandra and the stem plants which I referred to earlier in the background. A little bit of moss there, I think that's spiky moss. The Twin Star M5 which I talked about earlier which is an oxygen producer and then we've got our uh, stainless steel inlet there with a floating column there to help skim the surface and then we've got our outlet there. We've got our ORZ Biomaster 600 which is a large external canister filter that comes with a easily removable pre-filter and also an inbuilt heater. CO2 system is pressurized. I'm using a five kilogram fire extinguisher 
with a high-end regulator from CO2 Art. And then the diffuser there on the left, that's a Neo diffuser from Aquario or Aquario. They're available from Aquarium Gardens, really great products, made of acrylic and not glass, so much, much stronger. You can get the same effect, you can create a similar aquascape You're using much cheaper products. I'll link to a video right now uh, where I set up a budget aquascape quite recently, so do check that out if you are on a, on a limited budget. So I hope you enjoy the video guys, I'm going to do a cinematic sequence now for you all to enjoy hopefully. I can't wait to update you again in maybe another month or so. Let me know in the comments if you like the scape, uh, let me know uh, what your favourite plant is or if you have any other questions about the plants or the techniques that I use, I'd love to hear from you. So just a final word. If you do like my Keep On Scaping t-shirt, they are available to buy from Moss Cotton. I'll leave a link right at the bottom of my description. And just a heads up as well, when I did the 20,000 subscriber giveaway, I did get a lot of interest in the signed prints of, of my Aquascape photos. So if that is something that interests you, let me know in the comments below and I'll start getting the ball rolling on that. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's always been a pleasure making the, these videos for you. Absolutely passionate about Aquascaping. And if I can impart that passion onto you guys, and that's my job done. So you're not know going to say next. Keep on scaping. Take care. Cheerio. We're falling like stars